morning, everybody, or good day, depending on where you're at, in life, in time. Today is a wonderful day. And to be able to have these wonderful days is something that is glorious to each and every one of us, as long as we choose to accept that. Every day, at any time, somebody is losing someone they love, their own life, or very possibly the ability or freedoms to move freely due to circumstances, health, wealth, Even business that, sorry, even business that we can't even um, have much input to, some of our freedoms are lost. While we see agendas and platforms that insist that we hand over some of those freedoms willingly, each one of us should remember that freedom is choice, and those choices don't come without a cost. Many have paid long before us, many will pay long after us, hopefully, to maintain these freedoms. If any of us insist on being any part of humani humanity at all, <clears throat> excuse me, we need to realize that everybody should have their choice. Aside from harming somebody, victimizing someone, breaking laws that are obvious to the better welfare of others. We should be able to have our freedoms and say. Uh, insisting that anybody doesn't is imposing upon their freedom. Whether we like it or not. I've stated it before. When I chose to serve my nation, which doesn't make me any different than any others, because it was my choice. We do so with the intent to assure those freedoms. Be it we agree with them or not. I think that's where we get lost in a lot of the things that occur in today's day and age. We pretend that we know the better way or the better freedom to make choices for others that we shouldn't have any say in what they do. We're not their supervisors. We're not their providers. We're not their caretakers. For the most part, many of us are just on social media stating what we think, even without being asked. Yes, we have the freedom of speech. And in that, written or otherwise, we exercise those things. Sometimes people do come to us and ask us for opinions or information or due to our experience, whatever. They have a basis for asking us, hopefully to lead them and guide them in something that they're less informed on. Aside from that, too many of us insist on spending the valued time in this life in in imposing on others and that shouldn't be but we're programmed to do so because united we stand divided we fall if you remember that then you will see why the dollars and the donuts are spent to keep us apart because the more division we have the greater ability entities and strangers have over us to guide who we are. A lot of people say that they have no say in a lot of things. Again, it goes back to choice. If we know the rules to the game and we choose to take the field, then we've missed our opportunity to apply those rules and to know better that opposing forces don't seek our success. And that's unfortunate. Especially as our representatives. We'll throw up some air quotes for that. Those representing us, especially those who have been in government far too long, are out of touch. They have no idea what it means 
to represent people that they have nothing in common with. I can speak on numerous things. I have pride and ego just like everybody else. I also have flaws. I'd say just like everybody else, but I'm one that truly believes I have far more. And I've certainly, in my opinion, proven that. Yes, I've done good. That doesn't erase anything else in life that insists that I find better ways to treat other humans and to do right by others. And I also know that doing those things doesn't make up for anything bad I've done. Nor does it place me above somebody else to insist that I know better than they do simply by my experience. All of us, all of us have to... If we aren't scraping our knees to understand and to glean the experience that we that we need to get through life, then we literally aren't earning those opinions. They're just bloated. Like many of the people above us that claim our representation. There's some fantastic representatives out there, I'm sure. I, I'm not I'm not here to say who's who, what side is what side. In the end, it's all sides, which means which means division for us. And that's unfortunate. Because once those choices are made, the business at hand should always be healing and progress. All of these things that try to impede another's ability to lead us or have us succeed or for us to progress isn't helpful to anyone. Standing to oppose for opposition's sake is always going to, sorry, is always going to lack in any form of uh, constructive ability to do so. Because we're missing the better point that we need to come together. So today, I hope everyone is celebrating your freedoms. And remember, I'm not here to insist that you make my choice. I make my own choices. However I arrive to those, I do so. Take exit 75. What I want is you to express your choice and not to impede others or insist upon impeding on others. Because that's not freedom. nor is it supporting that freedom for others. Uses the right two lanes to turn Being right better for drive. others is our biggest asset. It's how we all come together. We're strangers. If anybody wants to talk about this nation, they're gonna be negative and cherry pick details that forget that if so many strangers do so right much good for people we'll never meet. Money comes out of our pockets, and I'm not just talking about the scammers out there that are misusing it. I'm talking about people that set out and look for opportunities to do good and to do right by those that we'll never see. And we'll, we'll never get any payment for it. Nor do, we, do, nor do we want it. So how can you insist that somebody that does those things is negative based off of a demograph or by a sold presentation right onto West through Avenue. agendas, that that's okay. I'll never know. So please, certainly exercise your freedoms. People have earned these for us. And some of us earn our freedoms for ourselves, as we should. But do not stand in front of other people and tell them that your choice is their only choice because you say so. That doesn't insist anything about freedom. Stop getting lost in the noise, folks. Because as long as they have the chains and the keys to our bindings, we can't be as free as what we need to, to be successful and to have the growth that we need to maintain as a nation. Show some love, show some consideration, and be grateful that we have these opportunities today.
because life is short and it gets ride, shorter every day. We, we know our end or not. Love one another, love yourselves, and do whatever you can to make right by you. All that matters. That's what we have today. Cherish that choice. God bless. Be well.